Hi, Mutt Jr. here. Um, I'm bringing you a new automated chicken farm I put together. See, this one is the Mark II automated chicken farm. What I'm calling the Mark I chicken farm is right over here. I did a video on this earlier. It was in a different test world I had, but I, when I created this test world, I moved it over. And this one was based on a design that I had found, uh, another a different video, and I just basically replicated it and a couple minor little changes. <coughs> But uh, let's see, let's go over it real quick. Chickens up top here, lay eggs. Got a series of hoppers, all except for one, one opening. The hoppers all feed into the dispenser. The dispenser shoots the eggs out to try to hatch chicks. Chicks fall down through the chute. This one right there. Um, and it's just filled with cobwebs. So they slowly fall down. They get down to about this point where they grow up. And become chickens, full-grown chickens. Finish the fall through. Got trip wires. Comes down, activates the cooker, which is just a dispenser with lava. And this is the part I changed because we had the dropper come out since. Uh, feeds into the hopper, which feeds to the dropper, which loads up the chest. And then this is the empty chute that comes down to dump the eggs in. So that's that. And like I said, that I did a video on that already. I'll give you a link to that. And on that link is the link to the original video that I based it on. Now what I wanted to do though is come up with my own design. So that's where the Mark II chicken farm comes in. Um, we'll still have the same cooker and the same principle up here. Chickens lay eggs, comes over, dispenser, shoots them out. I don't think that's anything that you know one person's come up with. I mean, that's kind of a pretty standard thing. Now, what what is different is that, except I put I put this in two halves. Right now, we've got everything coming over to this half. So what's going to happen is every day it's going to switch over. Every morning, right now it's all coming down here. Next morning it's going to switch over to this side, and this uh, it's going to be shooting off the eggs and trying to hatch chicks to come over here. Next morning after that, it switches back, and it's just going to switch back and forth. And yeah, what's also going to happen is in the morning, so these chicks down here should be fully grown by then, because we got all day now, and then we've got all night to go through, so they should be fully grown. And when we cook them, you know, they're going to start laying eggs, which is just going to fall right through to the chest. And when we cook them, we're going to have the uh, cooked chicken and feathers coming in. Now over here, oh well, okay, the cooker part, let's go, we'll start down here. <coughs> like I said, the cooker part's the same thing as over there. We have, well, first of all, this signal will be gone by then. So we're going to have this conducting and this not, but we're still going to have this all shut off. So nothing's going to happen here until the next morning when we actually get a signal coming through. When that signal comes through, just like it is now, this is going to turn off, but this is going to start conducting. However, this is on a, it's on a delay. Get over there. If you notice, this is on a delay. It's actually a max delay, so we're going to have this signal turned off coming in here to the inverter. So this is going to conduct for a short time, which is going to conduct these two repeaters. This one's on delay, this one's not. So this is going to be the first one getting through. Sends lava out, and then this one's going to follow up right away, suck the lava back in. By the time that's all done, this is starting to conduct, which now provides a signal here to turn this off. And it stays like that until the following morning. Now this part here with the eggs, you know, again, this is the same as what's up top. The eggs come in. If you notice, the comparator conducts, which turns the inverter off, turns off this repeater, and unlocks this. When that unlocks, we have this torch powering coming in. This now conducts, sends a signal through to the hopper or to the 
dispenser, which is going to shoot out the egg, and the redstone on top is going to send come back through, turn this off, so it stops conducting just in time for this to come in, start conducting this repeater again to lock it before this turns off. It turns back on. So that's how this is working. It's a pretty good little system. Every now and then it locks up. Uh, this gets stuck on, so I just get rid of it and put a new piece in. And the other side is identical, if you notice, right here. You know, we could put anything in here. Um, let's go ahead, we'll put in a piece of redstone. And see, it just fired it off and shot the redstone out. So, and that should just come through here to the chest. We'll grab that. Uh, it's getting to be nighttime, which is good, because that's what we want. Now everything here, if you notice, we also have a couple, we have some pistons here. Yeah, so it's, the pistons are what's driving, which side's going to be going. This side's closed right now, and this side's open, so the water is just flowing everything down this way. When morning comes, this is going to switch, so everything's going to come over this way. We also have the pistons right here, which is holding these chickens back, because we want to give these ones down here time to fully grow before we cook them. So in the morning, this is going to switch also. This is going to open, this is going to close, these chickens are going to come down, they're going to have their turn. But before that even happens, these ones, which should be fully grown by that time, are going to be cooked and drops, you know, oops, dropped into the chest. And that is all done by this circuitry back here. If you notice, we got the daylight sensor comes off. So first sign of daylight. First sign of daylight, we're going to get this conducting. It's not going to be strong enough to come over here yet, but it is strong enough. We're going to to conduct this repeater, which is going to send the signal all the way down here to the cooker. So we get first first light we get the chickens that are down there cooked. Now as the, as the day goes on, as morning, the sun rises a little bit higher, a little bit higher. This signal coming over here gets stronger and stronger until it finally gets to this point and it's enough to activate the circuit. And this is a T flip-flop, that's what it's called. The T is for toggle. And what it's going to do is the output right here it's going to toggle this on and off. So every time we get a signal coming in, this is going to change. Right now it's off. In the morning, the signal is going to come in, and it's going to change this to on. And it's going to stay on until it goes through that cycle again. So the night comes, this is going to stop conducting, no change. But the morning comes, it starts conducting, this will be on, it's going to turn it to off. And the following morning, it's going to turn it back on following morning off and just back and forth so it's just toggling the output there um, now the way it works okay so we got no signal now we get a signal coming in we're going to turn this torch off we're gonna start conducting this but this is on a delay so for a short time we're not sending a signal to this repeater so it unlocks this one now if you notice this torch is on when this is off so this unlocked, we're now sending that signal through this repeater over to the other side. So we're going to get this turned on, and at the same time we're going to turn this off. But by the time that comes back around to the repeater to shut it all off, we've now met this delay, this starts conducting, and locks it again. So we're going to have this stuck off, this over here stuck on, until the signal comes in again, and this unlocks and we send that off signal through turns this on which comes around but gets locked before it can get through the repeater so that's how it toggles it every day um, now coming off here you know it splits off goes to each one of these two 
yeah, splits off right here, comes over to each one of these two sets of pistons. And since we want one side open, one side closed, it comes through, one side comes through an inverter. So right now there's no signal coming out. This, si this side's on and activated, or this side's off. When morning comes, you're going to see this start conducting, and it's going to switch states. Um, over here, you can see, oops, let's get out, there we go. You can see I kind of pluck off right there and over here. In that, I'm going to send down, it all comes on down here through an inverters again because I want these pistons to be opposite of here. When this one is out, the chickens are going over that way, I want this side on to block the chickens from falling through. So that's what that does. Um, so right now this is on, this is off. And then in the morning, this is all going to change again. And both, you know, the pistons up here are going to switch states, the pistons down here are going to switch states. And when that happens, well, we're going to have the eggs start going over to this side. Chickens are going to be blocked here, so they're going to be waiting for their turn. These chickens are going to all, you know, the water's going to push them all down, down here to the cooker. You know, there's one, see, one's already grown. And they're going to just sit down there and wait their turn. They're going to grow up. They're going to, maybe some of them lay eggs. And they're going to wait their turn until the following morning. And we're going to cook them. Where are we? Oh, not too much longer. So, let's <coughs> see, so I also got, you know, I'll put some ice in here. So, you know, it all, um, you know, it just helps convey everything with the water a lot quicker. If you notice up here when we get the eggs laid. Oh, come on. Lay an egg. I know you want to. Come on. Come on. Right, now they pick a time to be camera shy. Great. See, I just zipped along there. I don't know if you saw that. But see, there's two eggs. Just zip right through. Uh. Okay, we're just waiting for day now. Waiting for morning. And while we're waiting, um, you know, I never really got much into redstone until recently. You know, this is all based on, you know, I'm doing this right now with the current snapshot, which is 13W04 Alpha. And, you know, this is all part of the 1.5 update which has been called, which is being called the redstone update. Because there's a lot of new redstone objects. You've got the daylight sensor is new, uh, comparator is new. Over here we have, the dispenser's always been there, but we have the hopper. That's a new item. I don't have it on this one, but over here uh, we have the dropper. That's a new item. And they have, you know, just, it's just a lot of, you know, that they've also been tweaking a lot of the, some of the redstone items. You've got redstone blocks now, so you can have an entire block of redstone that can be moved with a piston. Uh, works pretty good. Um, let's say you want, you know, you can push a block in to power a circuit and then pull it out to turn it off. And it's, I've never really done anything with that yet, but it's, it's kind of, oh, here we go. Okay, sun's coming up. Oh, we already fired that off. Okay. Now we'll watch. As it gets stronger and stronger, we're going to see every th the pistons fire. That should be happening any time now. Any time now. 
Come on. Anytime. Come on. Sun's coming up. Let's do it. Here we go. There we go. Let's see, that's all done from the daylight sensor. Now all these chicks are going to fall down here. And we're going to give them time to grow before we cook them. And everything's going to sit like this. Eggs are coming over on this side now. And it's going to sit like this until the following morning when it's going to switch back. So, yeah, let me see if we got feathers we can make um, bow or arrows with. Of course, chickens, your cooked chicken to eat, and eggs for, well, we can make pies, cakes, or just, you know, if we want to. We can also throw them at mobs. That's kind of fun to do. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. Um, or, you know, we want to try a traditional chicken farm or something. I don't know. Whatever. So that's that's my chicken farm. And I hope you like it. You know, go ahead. Feel free to to study it more and come up with you know, any changes. You know, let me know. But until next time, I'm going to say so long.